Today we're going to demonstrate how to wire up a start stop and a speed pot for the Worldwide Electric Flex Control. As you can see, we're going to use P1 in our common for our start stop, and we're going to use VR for our 10 volt DC, V1 for our wiper, and common for our potentiometer. You can see over here on our terminal strip, you can see P1, and you can see common. And down here on this terminal strip, you can see CM, the VR, and the V1. We have wired our drive for our start-stop and our speed pot, initialized power, and we come up to the home screen. You will see easy, set, yes or no. For this configuration, we will choose no, which is manual. Arrow up to no, press enter. And from here now, we got to program our drive to see that we're going to be using the start stop and the speed pot. We will do this by mashing mode. Again, in the left hand corner, we will see DRV, which is the drive group. This, lets get, this lets, allows us to get into the drive parameters. We're going to use our arrow down key to D. RV03, which is our acceleration time, we must hit enter to access that parameter. Factory default is 20 seconds. We're going to change this to 2 seconds. Again, hitting enter to save our selection. We will arrow down again to our deceleration time. We must hit enter to access that parameter. 30 seconds is default. We're going to bring our motor down pretty quick. We're going to put that down to about 5 seconds. And enter to save our selection. We will arrow down again till we get to our command source. In our command source, we must hit enter to access that parameter. And it is on the terminal strip 1, and that's where we'll leave it for this demonstration. We will be getting our reference from that terminal strip. We're going to scroll down to DO, DRV07, which is our frequency reference point, and it is on the keypad. We are not using the keypad for this demonstration. We will be using the V1. We hit enter to save that parameter. Now we need, must arrow over right to we get to our BAS group, our basic group. This is where we have our motor information. We're going to scroll down to BAS11, and that is our number of poles. We must hit enter. Factory default is four pole, 1800 RPM. We can scroll down to two pole, 3600 RPM, or we can scroll up to six pole, 1200 RPM, and so on. Our motor today is a four pole motor. Must hit enter to save that parameter. Then we're going to scroll down to BAS 13, which is our rated full load amps. Must hit enter to access the parameter. 3.4 is factory. We're gonna set that to 1.6 for our motor today. Again, we must hit enter to save our selections. Now we've done our basic programming, we must hit escape to get back to the home screen. And when we get back to our home screen, now we're going to operate our motor via the remote start, stop, and the speed pot. We must select auto, auto on our keypad. We're going to put this thing in automatic. Now we're looking for the information that we just set up in our system. Now we're ready to make sure our spot pot is wired correctly. As you can see, we're speeding up and we're slowing down. We'll take that back down to zero and now let's turn our start stop on. Now you can hear our fans on our drive is running. Now let's move our pot and now our motor is running. Why don't we turn those fans off? To do that, we're going to go into our mode button. 
And you can see in the left hand corner we're in the DRV section. We got to get over to our ADV section for our advanced features. Now we're in ADV. I'm going to use a little thing called the jump code. Can you see the jump code? If you look in our operation instruction manual, you'll see number 64 is fan operation. So you simply go to jump code, put 64 in. It's going to take us right to that code. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to see temp control. We're going to select temp control. And now what that does is let our fans run off the temperature of the drive. The drive gets hot. We need our fans. It will then uh, turn our fans on. We hit escape. You can see our pot is still working at 60 hertz, 1800 RPM. I will illustrate us taking that to 30 hertz. And there again, three line display. We're seeing hertz, RPM, and amps. And now we will take it down to 15 hertz. And now we're going to select our stop button. Now we have our button stop. Now we will restart our unit and it will come to the 15 hertz. And that's our video for today. Please visit our website at worldwideelectric.net or if you have any tech support questions, please call us at 844-WWE-SERV. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks and have a great day.